everybody and welcome back again to Dragon Age 2. Uh, we're currently doing a quest for Sebastian, namely Repentance. Uh, maybe let's read the description again. So, a group of desire demons tried to block the entrance to a room behind the Harriman estate. It appears they, or something they serve, are behind the Harriman's downfall. Explore the room to find out what they're protecting. So yeah, we have um, checked out the estate and everybody there is just really really crazy and now we need to go to the underground passage now um, before starting the recording I made sure that I distributed the equipment that I had um, most notably to a Sebastian who apparently had a really really crappy bow <laughs> uh, it had 21 damage and I, I happen to have one bow on me and it's so much better so I gave him that um, I also gave him some accessories and I gave Anders a better staff. So I think um, we're hopefully ready for whatever waits us, waits for us here. So let's go. Hmm. Underground passage. Yeah, let's let's check this out. A ruin. So close to High Town. I remember no such thing. <laughs> well. Yeah, this is uh, not just some cavern. All right. Um, oh, they attack from several sides again. Right, Anders. Uh, I think you should come over here and help me with this. Uh, oh, the desire demon has no the um, rage demon. There's rage demon. I I want your I want your cone of cold for that. Thank you. I'll deal with this. And then I will just try to wear him down quickly. Um Yeah. Get away from him. And yeah, I have I have only ranged companions and we are in a relatively close quarter. So <laughs> that's a bit of a problem, but uh we'll we'll manage somehow. All right, well, there we go. Um, yeah, let's summon the dog again. Uh, I need to take a close look at our health. Uh, for example, like uh, he's almost dying. <laughs> Let's have a look at you. Yeah, I think we shouldn't we shouldn't get so far separated. And I'm going to need a second wind. All right, this one's dead. Okay, now let's deal with these guys. Uh, have a holy smite. And um, apparently your cone of cold has cooled down. That is nice. So hopefully that will finish them off. Not, not quite. Not quite. All right. Well, there we go. Is there anything to loot? Superior short bow. Hmm. This may be even better than what I just gave him. Yeah, I'd say this is better, so take it. Anything else? Nope. Alright, let's let's continue. And there's more. Oh a revenant. A revenant. Um all right, some corpses. Yeah, I'm going to take care of the revenant. Let's see if we can silence the guy. All right, I think I think it actually worked. And now that the corpses are nearby, let's use a holy smite. And I think you can 
help me with this. Like so. Um, okay, I'm stunned. Okay, I'm unstunned. <laughs> I'm going to continue with the Revenant. I don't need a second wind. And yeah, the Revenant is almost in. So, Revenant is down. So this only leaves some corpses. I think we can deal with that. Yep, I have. Um, but there's another corpse that we need to take care of. Yeah, just die. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Let's see, Anders. Maybe use another cone of cold here. Um, yeah, why not take care of the archer? Archer against archer. I'll take care of the melee guys here. There we go. Man, there's no end to it. Even more corpses. But I mean, we're we're doing we're doing well enough at this point. Um, Zabaros, going to help you with that. What? Did you just say you're out of arrows? <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's loot them all. Um. Hmm. Hey, this is apparently where I have to go. So let's check out this place as well. Uh, just. Just some rubble. Man! A hidden hidden cave and there's absolutely nothing in sight. <laughs> what a disappointment. Okay, uh, let's continue in the other direction. Which I guess would be here. Yes. Let's have a quick save. Because this place is dangerous. Yep. Uh, let's have a look. Just corpses or is there something more sinister around? You know, I just I just see corpses. Okay, let's taunt them all. And let's use a <laughs> holy smite. And I think you can throw a cone of cold at them. Thank you. Now it's time to finish them off. Uh, all right, that's that's a rage demon. All right, his ice spells are on cooldown. Right, let's see, maybe we can. Oh no, it teleported! Damn it! Let's try to silence it again. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem to work that well. Let's try this again. All right, get off me, guys! Need a second wind. Um, yeah, my holy smite is available soon. There we go. Oh, very nice. And scatter works well in here as well. <laughs> okay, rage demon is dead. Let's deal with this guy. And oh, there's another rage demon. Damn it! Um, look behind you, Anders. <laughs> I'm I'm going to help you soon. Uh, let me just deal with this. Did you use your cone of cold? Please do, Anders. This is sort of important. Thank you. And there we go. It's it's dead. All right. All right. I think that's all the enemies. Mm. Let me have a look at those stuff. I think he needs at least one more ring, so we can just take this. 
Um, hmm. Well, according to the rating, this one is supposed to be better. <laughs> it's really hard for me to tell. <laughs> uh, on eight bird. Well, this, this is basically the same, so. Uh. All right, uh, man, this this place is a lot bigger than I expected. Um, let's make sure we have looked at all these little side passages. Um, only to be disappointed again. And let's have a look here as well. Alright. Something here. I hope I'm not... No, I have still enough inventory space. Alright, so I guess this is the way, way we need to go. Uh, Varric? Hmm. And, uh, more corpses. And I see... I see a revenant up there. Uh, okay. Let me, let me deal with the guy. First of all, you keep quiet. <laughs> and now I'll try to kill him as quickly as I can. Well, if he doesn't stun me, that is. Uh, oh, he sort of teleported Varric here. Well, Sebastian, that is quite the attack. Except that you are probably uh, shooting in the wrong direction. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'll put in with the Revenant. He's my prime target at the moment. Yeah. So much bad stuff down here. Um, we're still all doing fine health-wise, so... Let me just kill this guy and now we can continue with the rest of them. And there's somebody oh, down here. <laughs> there was somebody down here. Oh, um, an arcane horror. Ah, oh, what's all this stuff doing down here? Seriously. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that guy died pretty quickly. Well, fine with me. A demon's... the demon's gift. Alright. Uh, this is for you, Varric. Superior dagger. Alright. Um... Yeah, we've been here. I mean, let's have a look around here. Nope. Ah, let me through. Thank you. Okay, we're finally, we're finally getting somewhere. So maybe let's have a quick save. And see what's going on here. Lady Harriman, all right. You must give me more. Starkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the prince's seat, <laughs> but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. <laughs> What more can you offer? So it's demons. Of course it's demons. It's always demons. So what's the going rate? <laughs> At the Blooming Rose, 50 silvers standard for a whore. <laughs> You'll hardly find my services standard. Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian. You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. 
I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? <laughs> you both wish to rise. <laughs> well, yeah, but I wouldn't betray my friends for that. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul. Masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands. The same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. <laughs> You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to her. You'll be a good ruler. It doesn't matter what you do to get there. I'm not acting from ambition. I only want what's best for my people. For the people who'll adore you. All those smiles they used to save for your brother. Now you'll be the shining prince. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Silence, Temptress. Your whispers led our allies astray. You're the only one I must kill. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do this. Wow, Sebastian! <laughs> why, why that much rivalry? Well, we have to a good start here. <laughs> okay, um, first of all, we will stop the cone of cold because they're all in this area, and follow it up by a holy smite, and maybe a scatter as well. And yeah, um. I would like to silence one of you. Maybe I should silence her. And now we can continue with her. And she's almost dead. Oh, you killed Sebastian. Wow. I, I don't pay attention for you for one second and you're dead already. Uh, maybe I should give them a potion just in case. I don't want to lose, a, lose any more people. Mm, all right. Well, the, the, the desire demon is almost dead already. So um, I think we should be fine. Maybe you can throw a fireball at those people. Also, apparently, Anders has resurrected uh, Sebastian. Well, Anders, you're taking quite the initiative here. I, I appreciate that. I approve of that. <laughs> All right, Elua is dead, so um, let's continue with Lady Harriman, I guess, because uh, she's the next toughest person here. And I think you should definitely attack me and not anybody else. Uh, you take a potion. Yeah, that's much better. Um, hmm. Yeah, why not take some Lurian? Then you can do a bit more damage. I'll use a Holy Smite. And maybe you can use something like... I don't know, I never really tried Walking Bomb. Maybe, maybe you can try it. Okay, I continue with the lady. And just get her. Oh, they're dead already. Return to the chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Alright. Let's loot Alua's crook. Hmm, that is that is nice stuff. I'm sure I will find someone who can make good use of it. Uh, let's have a look around here. But I don't see anything of 
interest. Okay, uh, let's let's go back. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, okay, I could just uh, return the other direction, but um, why would I want to? Okay, let's go. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Yeah, you mentioned that already. Sebastian, I am so, so... <laughs> sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do, what those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. So, what happened to the vials? Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was <laughs> always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. So, how did the demon get here? Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon hmm. inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Mm. Yeah, I guess you were victims. Don't blame your mother. The desire demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. All right, so um, <laughs> uh, I gained friendship from him for that. Yeah, I, I really don't know why he reacted with rivalry to my conversation last time. But yeah, let's leave this place. And uh, I think he wanted to go to the Chandri afterwards. Yeah, I think we have picked up everything here. Is this, is this even the right way? <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think I can go, yeah, this, this is the right way, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go. And there we are. Chantry is not far away, so let's uh, go there directly. Oh, hey, some rubble. You mind if I have a look at that? <laughs> uh, no, no, wrong, wrong. Oh, my sense of direction. Okay, this is this is the right way. All right. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? What? <laughs> that belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the Maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. <laughs> um, have a look at that. Ah, uh, yeah, I see, I see what you mean. <laughs> Very observant, Anders. Also, let's have a look at the Chandler's board. Sketchy on the details. Unwanted competition helps no one. A bunch of foreign assassins are roaming the streets looking for some fool mage. Can't have these people killing without contracts. It's chaos. Get rid of these fools before they bring the guard down on us all. Sure, I'll take it. Sketchy on the details. Search Cockwell for assassins hunting a mage. Well, <laughs> that's not vague at all. Okay, let's uh, go back to the Chandry first thing and uh, speak to Sebastian again. We well. did serve the maker, sir. 
What are you here for? Um, I just want to speak to Sebastian. Boiling in oil. Uh, too prosaic. Trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw. That lets him off too easy. Dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's keep. Ooh, that's <laughs> poetic. What are you two talking about? <laughs> what to do to Bartrand when I find him. Ah, I see. Any suggestions? I might have one or two. Um, I like a uh, conversation where she actually chimes in occasionally, but, but because normally it's just your companions talking to each other, but sometimes uh, she has something to say as well. All right, Sebastian, let's let's talk about this. I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demons touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is terrible, but <laughs> I, I kind of, I kind of want to use this. <laughs> you just need to scrap. Wash behind the ears. <laughs> Evil usually gets stuck there. The demon didn't lie. Yeah. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine, and he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right, or simply to have what I never thought I could? Never thought you could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, <laughs> and I was left in the cold. They put me in the chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. So you didn't join by choice? You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. <laughs> it's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. <sighs> Listen to your heart. Are we going to sing Roxette songs now? Um, but I mean, Juno is certainly somebody who always listens to your heart and doesn't really care that much about obligations and stuff like that. So that's definitely the sort of advice she would give. <laughs> it's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I don't really like those flood options that occur in these very serious talks. They always seem a bit out of place. So uh, yeah, let's not let, yeah let's not get there. Uh, sounds fun. Killing a few hundred more bandits ought to help you make up your mind. <laughs> you do have a unique way <laughs> of working out your inner struggles, Hawk. Enough of this. I will make no decision today. All right. Uh, and friendship again. So I'm basically back at zero with it. <laughs> well, that's that's just great. Okay. Um. Right. I have. I have the bow that I want to give to him, right? The Starkhaven longbow. So since we're here, just uh, let's continue with that. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. So, is the bow special? What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. <laughs> grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. 
Um, also, I gotta admit, I just uh, found myself staring a lot longer at Andresta's face on his crotch than I, I should care to admit. Um, so the bow is yours. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the ice lid of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Uh, tell me of your grandfather. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. <laughs> a post better than a family. Um, yeah, you could use it to avenge them. Think of them with every arrow you fire to retake your land. Yes, this will be a fitting weapon to carry against the usurpers. Thank you for thinking of me, Hawk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, well, Sebastian um, certainly has some interesting reactions to, <laughs> to my decisions. So, yeah, I think uh, this is actually a good time to end the episode. Um, apparently we have now a new uh, party member. I think Grandfather is smiling now, <laughs> seeing me holding his bow. Yeah, I'm I'm assuming that I probably got the rivalry because I used the aggressive option. Um, but the other ones, they sounded, I don't know, they didn't really sound like Juno. So, um, yeah, <sighs> Sebastian, we will we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with you, my friend. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here, and um, I'm not really sure what to do in the next episode. Maybe we'll do Night Terrors. I don't really want to go into the main plots just yet. Or maybe I will look at some of the side quests. I also want to start one of the DLCs fairly early, because apparently the main plot missions are all sort of connected to each other, so... Um, I may not want uh, to start them before I did actually, before I did the DLC. Um, but yeah, we're going to see about that. Uh, thank you for watching this episode and to see you again in the next episode.